Good morning, beloved. Today, peace be with you. I'm out of practice, you can tell. Today, as we begin, the letter of St. James <clears throat> starts off with uh, some good just Christian instructions, reminding us of our Christian hope and kind of the bigger picture. And he starts off with one of those sayings that we have in, in a Christian life of that's easy to say, hard to do. He says, consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, <clears throat> for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. <clears throat> different kinds of trials, you know, when you're in the midst of the, the darkest trials of your life, it's really hard to consider it all joy. <laughs> um, you know, one of the bigger pictures he's helping us look at is, is when you're making a goal, and we used to do this in, in college, especially working out, okay, I'm going to do this kind of a workout for this long, and it's going to get me this strong, or get me this fast on the track team, and so, okay, this is going to hurt, but it's going to have good results. He's kind of looking at that, you know, these trials that we go through in life, these difficulties, they're going to hurt, but they have good results. He's trying to look at the results and be able to count that as joy. And if you look at everything you're going through and all your experiences of life, and you're still having a hard time in the midst of those dark trials to count it or consider it all joy, he says, well, then ask for wisdom. <laughs> so wisdom on the basic level is, is experience and understanding of the present situation that you're going through and also having the right discernment to make the right decisions in that present difficulty that you're going through. So, you know, if you're having a hard time making the decision and, uh, of counting or considering your present situation and circumstance joy, then we need more wisdom. Lord, I need more wisdom. <clears throat> There's a little... Uh, saying also a little teaching in Christianity, you know, everybody goes through these difficulties, these trials, these sufferings in life, everybody. But not everybody allows those sufferings and difficulties to uh, sanctify them, to transform them, to make them stronger and better. That, that, so when, when we go through these difficulties and sufferings, there's a choice we have to make. How am I gonna respond? How am I going to let this impact me? How will I let this change me? Will I let this transform me and make me better? Sanctify me, make me more like Christ? Or will I let this difficulty, this trial, this suffering destroy me? Eat me up from the inside out? Will I give in to despair, resentment, bitterness, anger? Or will I learn to trust the Lord even deeper? <clears throat> Will I choose to trust him even deeper? Will I choose to let the suffering tenderize me, change me and transform me more like Christ? It's a hard choice. And so James is instructing us, if any of us lacks any kind of wisdom at all, just even the smallest amount, we're not sure how to make that choice to let the difficulty, the trial, the suffering we're going through change and transform us and make us more like Christ. He says, ask God for that wisdom. Ask God for that wisdom to make that right choice. Because <clears throat> it's not an easy choice. <laughs> you can also choose in the midst of suffering, trial, disappointment, discouragement, to try to numb it self-medicate it, hope that it will go away. And that doesn't work much very well either. So we need wisdom and strength and courage, a lot of God's wisdom, which comes with the Holy Spirit, to choose to be tenderized in the suffering and the trial, to choose to let it change us, transform us, make us more like Christ, to choose to, to allow God to show us where is the joy in this? It's just like with any death in Christian funerals. <clears throat> we can look at the death and think that's the end of life and fall into despair. Or we can look at the death and, and embrace the sadness with the Christian hope in the resurrection. And thank God we have hope. So, Father, we just turn to you with open hearts, asking for, for more of your wisdom, 
wherever each one of us are right now in, in, in life, whatever kind of difficulties or trials we may go, be going through or sufferings, we ask you for wisdom, Lord, to be able to see and, and count even the darkest trials that we go through uh, as pure joy, knowing that they are strengthening our, our perseverance and, and increasing and strengthening our faith which will help us on the way to eternal life with you. So we pray these things together in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us stand together and return.